Friends, the world is a changing place and it's changing rapidly. You've only got to step outside into society and observe the conversations of the world. Look at people's dreams. Look at the way that society is moving to know that what I'm telling you is true. We live in a time of accelerated shifting energy. And there is a process of ascension that happens when you begin to awaken spiritually. I want to explain to you today, I want to give you five pointers, some things that you really need to know about the ascension process, the signs and the symptoms that surround the process of ascension, what it actually means, what it feels like and what it looks like, so that you can identify this energy in your own world. Because when you can identify the energy, you begin to work with it and flow in it and see the fruits made manifest in your life. Come on, it's your turn now, friend. Let's kick into it. Hello, wonderful you. Welcome to Elevate. I'm Ben and I sure am thankful for you. Make sure you're subscribed and you're part of our family here. Make sure our energy is connected. You haven't got to watch every video, but I really appreciate you, friend. So thanks for coming over. Thank you for helping me to lift the collective vibe. Today, I want to share with you some pointers around the topic of ascension, some signs and some symptoms that exist when you are ascending from the weight of the 3D reality that we all interact with, and you are moving into the beautiful freedom and liberty that exists in 5D. Let's put some framework around what we're talking about first quickly so that we're all on the same page. See, you and I, we live in a world that we interact with through our senses. We live in a world of time and space where we have to move through space to get somewhere and that takes time. If I want to go to my kitchen and get a drink, I need to move my body through space, which takes time to get that drink. When we're talking about moving into 5D, we're talking about stepping out of the bondage that exists in the world we've constructed between our eyes. We are talking about moving away from acknowledging only that which can be sensed through the traditional senses. Smelling, hearing, tasting, seeing, feeling. And into a world where the metaphysical becomes more prominent. Where your intuition leads you and speaks to you and guides you just like a navigation. When you move into 5D, you move into a world where you flow with the spirit. So if it's a world where you flow with the spirit, then it is a world that is spirit led. And that's the biggest difference. The world that we live in here on earth is very human led. You look and see that what I'm telling you is true. You see people chasing dreams, people chasing relationships, people chasing all sorts of things. This is a heavy, heavy world with sensing, with these senses through the human. When you ascend into 5D and you allow your spirit to lead the human instead of the other way around, you interact in this world still, but you interact with intuition, inner knowledge. It's like you've got the inside word. And as you make this shift, there are always things that are exhibited in the world that you live in through your body, through nature, through the things that you see. These are the signs and the symptoms that exist around the process of ascension. And I want to share with you five of the things that you will notice if you are beginning to become more spirit-led than human-led. When you are becoming more consciousness than human, more spirit than human, you are going to notice the escalation of the presence of these in your life. So identify yourself down below if you're experiencing this so I can stand with you in faith. I've made a couple of notes here to honor your time. We all know I love to ramble on. So the first thing is you're often going to feel them in your human. See, your human is it's like your interface between 3D and 5D. Your human is the interface. It's the vehicle that your spirit lives in. So very often when the process of ascension is happening, you feel it in your human because it is the human that is interfacing with the world. You might feel different things in your body. That's okay. That brings us on to point number two. You've got to be good to your human in all of this because you will notice changes in your body. Maybe 
physical changes. Maybe you'll hear ringing in your ears. Maybe you'll start getting headaches. Maybe your skin will start changing. Maybe you'll lose some weight or put on some weight or something's going to change. You've got to be a good steward with your temple, with your body, with your spirit's vehicle. You've got to get it serviced and maintained and tuned up and looked after because it's the only one you get. So if you are experiencing any of these manifest changes in your human, then be a good steward with that human and make sure that everything's going okay. If you need to see a GP and go and see a doctor and get a checkup, go and do that. Don't disregard your human. Be a good steward with your human. It's the only one you get. The next point, friend, that I want to share with you is that you are not of this world. You see... The world is what keeps you distracted and weighed down. You are not of this world. And as you begin the process of ascension, you might notice you start feeling less at home in the world. You can be in a room full of people. You can even be engaged in the conversations of those people. And yet, strangely, you feel less and less at home. You feel more and more like you're watching yourself interact. You're watching yourself play a part on a stage, in a theatre play, in a movie. And sure, you play the part, you toe the line, and that's okay, there's no problem with that, but you're really beginning to notice that you just, something about this place doesn't feel like home. That's because it's not. Earth is home to the human, the human is home to the spirit while it's on earth. You're just passing through. If you don't feel at home in the systems of the world and with the way that the world works and there's a longing on the inside, there's just something that you mightn't even be able to put words around, but you know it because the feeling is real and it exists inside of you. Friends, don't disbelieve that. Don't discourage yourself and discount that. What you are sensing is energy and alignment to your spirit. Your spirit is not of this world. It is of the divine. You are a unique beautiful, individualized portion of the divine, shaved off and filled into a human form to have all of the experiences you could only ever have in human form. Don't forget your true nature, friend. Last thing I want to share with you and leave with you is that there's a process here. It's a process but it's a process you must continually keep choosing and valuing over your triggers and reactions. There is a process of ascension. You don't just wake up one day spiritually enlightened and everything's different. It's a process that you day after day choose. And the moment you have to choose it is the moment that you don't want to do the work. The moment you have to choose it, you have to do the work, is the moment where you were triggered. It's the moment where a stress comes, where you're feeling the anxiety, where someone says something to you. It's the moment where you least want to do that spiritual work. But it's a process. And one that if you just stay committed to, and you are gentle with yourself amidst this process, you're not going to get it right every time. That's okay. Stick with it. You've got to commit to this process. If you will commit to this process of honoring your spirit first, listening to your spirit before fulfilling the wishes of the human, the trajectory of your life will begin to change. It is your spirit who knows how to lead you into the direction of your dreams. Your human thinks it knows, but all it knows how to do is chase. When you chase, you chase away. That's why so many people who chase dreams never get them. It's time to be still to be listening to your inner world, to be monitoring your inner conversation, and to be aligned with your dreams means moving from human to spirit. It's an energetic shift that is a process of continual work. Now, you've got this. All you have to do is keep making the right choice. Now, you have the information that allows you and permits you to make the right choice. There will be times when it's easy to make the right choice. There will be times when it's difficult and you still make the right choice. There will be times when it's difficult and you make the wrong choice. That's okay. It's part of the process. Embrace it and keep moving forward. I love you, friend. God bless you.